Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here, and I am walking around a lovely, lovely lake that's very quiet. There's almost no people here whatsoever, and the view is absolutely amazing. The air quality is really good, and it just feels good to be outside of the hotel rather than being in an enclosed building, sitting down on a computer. This is just a very nice, calming environment to be in to just make me feel really, really good. Not that I was feeling bad at all before, but it always feels good to me to get outside in nature as much as possible and get way pure air and fill my body up with an abundance of oxygen, which is one of the things that we cannot live a long period of time with, unlike water and food. So the topic of this video is, do a intermittent dry fast every single day or intermittent on water fast. Because quite some months ago, I had announced in a video, which I think was titled, Why I Now Intermittent Dry Fast Every Single Day. I had stated in the video, that yes, I was doing intermittent dry fasting every single day and explained full details why. If you haven't seen the video and you'd like to find out why I had gone on that journey, I put a link for the video up above and you can check it out now by clicking the link up above. And the reason why I wanted to make this specific type of video is I keep getting people ask me time and time again on things such as Instagram Live. If you haven't checked out my Instagram, I put a link for it down below. I highly recommend you check it out. I do almost daily inspirational and motivational posts to hopefully have a very positive, influential effect on you and your life and the simple answer is some days i intermittent dry fast some days i partially intermittent dry fast and then the rest of the fasting we know i drink water and then there's other times where i just completely intermittent water fast so i do what i started doing a long time ago with intermittent fasting as a whole and that is doing what i call intuitive intermittent fasting and the reason why I call that is, I used to be very strict for intermittent fasting. I used to say, right, I fast for this length of time. I eat at this time every single day. I stop eating at this time every day. I only drink fluids at these times or I don't drink any fluids whatsoever. And we have a very noisy, loud plane interrupting this YouTube video. It's just some of the first world issues as a YouTuber sometimes. It's not always avoidable. So yeah. What I embarked on with my own intermittent fasting journey quite a while ago, instead of just following this strict way with intermittent fasting, I said to myself, I'm just gonna listen to my body instead. Because my head doesn't know the best. My body knows the best, and I just need to listen to its signals. Because I used to push myself a lot of time with intermittent fasting to fast longer than my body wanted to, and it wouldn't make me feel good energy-wise, mentally. And it was just my ego, in many ways, just taking control. And then I learned by listening more closely to my body and just started fasting as long as it wants to. So I always stick to a minimum of 16 hours and there's days where I eat two meals a day in my eating window or three or just one meal a day. Each day is not the same. Some days I have more stress, other days I have more sleep or less sleep. Then there's days where I'm training or days where I'm recovering or I'm having more emotional stuff going on. There's just so many different factors and variables that can make it so my body wants to either fast for a shorter or longer period of time of intermittent fasting. So for me, the same rules apply with if I'm gonna drink water or if I'm going to dry fast with intermittent fasting. So some days where I just want to completely dry fast my whole fasting window, and then there's days where I will intermittent dry fast the majority of the fasting window and then drink some water later in the fasting window. And then there's times where I will drink water throughout the whole fasting window. Because yeah, some days when especially I'm training and I'm sweating really hot in Thailand in one of the gyms here where the hot weather's really hot, I need water to cool me down, especially cold liquids because pretty much the only time when I drink liquids is if they're cold. And the only reason I am normally drinking liquids is not because I feel dehydrated, it's because I want to cool my body down. And also it depends on what food I've eaten the day before. If I've eaten really extremely salty food and loads of cooked food that's very dehydrating, then I do feel more of a desire for cooler liquids, well, cold liquids even. So yeah, I'm not strict with this. My body tells me what it wants to do. 
and then there's some days where I would just intermittent dry fast days in a row and then intermittent dry fast and yeah that's just the way that it is and I'm not necessarily saying that you need to do this I found with my own personal intermittent fasting journey it was good for me for a very long period of time to stick to a specific fasting schedule with Eva in the fasting window also drinking liquids or intermittent dry fasting but I found what I did for a very long time was just stick to intermittent water fasting and naturally over a period of time I felt drawn to do intermittent dry fasting because my body wanted to do it started doing it started making me feel amazing and that's how I got on that whole journey and what I have to say is yes intermittent dry fasting can make me feel better but then there's times where intermittent water fasting can make me feel better due to many different reasons that I understand and some that I probably never know about <laughs> at all so yeah i will just always listen to my body because i have found on my own health journey over the last five years there's many times where i can become very dogmatic and force myself to do things that i don't do that's then been detrimental to me even though they're meant to be things that are good for me and i just can become quite extreme and do things that are not good for me i don't do that anymore because i've worked on my inner self and world so much to stop doing that and it's just not the route I want to go down because it's not the most self-loving thing to do at all. And what I'd say is if you want to try intermittent dry fasting, do it. Do it for short periods of time and then as your body adjusts to it, just try it for longer, longer periods of time. I have so many people that love intermittent dry fasting on this channel that tell me time and time again, and other people that really prefer intermittent water fasting instead. And they both get amazing results time and time again so it's about experimenting if you feel drawn to do one or the other try them out if you feel good from it continue doing it if you don't then stop doing it and remember just because someone else is telling you online they feel good from something doesn't mean that you're going to feel good from it so if you try something out that they said works amazingly for them and it doesn't work well for you and you know you're doing it correctly then stop doing it don't be one of these people that thinks, oh, I should just keep going and going and going when it's actually a bad thing and your body's giving you some clear signs that you should be stopping because I've done that with many things time and time again and I've seen so many other people do it and it's a very dangerous, detrimental path to go down. And man, I keep stopping at times with the recording because there's a lot of wind about. Some areas have got way more wind than others. I'm hoping that the wind noise doesn't pick up. I can actually start walking backwards because I know it's a bit less wind by this tree. <laughs> And yeah, if you look at the water, you can see that it's really moving around due to that wind and you might be picking up some of the wind noise through your speakers from this microphone that I use. But something I will say is there's been a few times on my journey when I've been drinking liquids with intermittent fasting and pretty much my whole journey I've only consumed water except sometimes had apple cider vinegar here and there. But for me, I feel the best when I only drink water. If that is, well, out of the liquids that I could choose, I'm not gonna drink black coffee at all. It's just really stimulating on the adrenals. It gives you a fake source of energy because it is a stimulant. I wanna have natural energy. If my energy levels are low, I need to rest more, sleep more, rather than take something that is gonna induce a stimulating response in me to make me feel like I have energy. And it's, <laughs> depleting me at the same time and it actually rinses your bodies of B, B vitamin rinses your bodies rinses your body of B vitamins as well and for me personally I just don't get on with caffeine it's way too stimulating for me and the majority of the time I have a lot of energy I've never been diagnosed with ADHD but I definitely have a lot of signs and symptoms of ADHD especially as a child so it's like why do I need to take stimulants for energy I don't need to and then we've got some really loud family members over there that just come along so i'm going to end the video there because they're joining in and we don't want them so any questions leave them down below don't forget to like and share and subscribe to receive a lot more videos from me on intermittent dry fasting prolonged water fasting calisthenics what i eat and what i do in day videos and many other different videos to inspire you motivate you and teach the right information for you to go in the direction to gain and maintain the body desire, the fitness levels and the energy levels as well. I've managed to many other people that have followed my information consistently over time. So if those videos sound good to you, make sure you click the subscribe button down below and you do click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button, otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic and go and get those gains. Peace.